Readings on that dashboard oh, have not sludged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, <laughs> the needle has crept upwards from its original position. What am I Luckily looking at? Some parameter it's been tracking. Back to jail. We are back in jail. Continuing the Archon Quest, Act 4. And now we are going to investigate freely. <laughs> investigate freely in jail. Hey, you over there? Bovilliers. Who, me? Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? No. Just for the immersion. It brings the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, can people down here play that game? You TCG players are like mint in the wild. Literally sprouting up everywhere. How in the world do you get that here? Get T oh, I guess Lenny got his cards in here. So. Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? Uh, not right now. We're kind of busy. Hey, how cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? It's oddly specific there. <laughs> What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family Very up there. You best shut your sewer hole and talk like that. Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who Get says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> ruddy. You know what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? It's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. No. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Just wait for him to just go, boom. <laughs> Speaking of Knock which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. Is it only something the inmates down here say? Nope, it's upper bellabog and uh, lower bellabog. That's true. Anyway, I've already decided to stay here. I oh, wish I could say the same. So you have to go? Hmm. Has to leave? Don't believe Maxim, uh, Maxim's written on the slip of paper? Don't believe Maxim's. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, they caught us. <laughs> Talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Thanks, guys. You're really nice. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice? This guy has like the. Your expressions tell me you're looking the for some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Oh. Come with me, kid. Be a star. Really? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by his grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. Uh, no. I mean, do we? Really? A uh, little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. Yeah, rumors. So, you two really like to gossip? Whew, you sure know how to embellish. <laughs> no, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. 
Wouldn't you like to know all that? Sure. Listen. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. <laughs> we ate most of the incredible welfare meals recently. Right, right. That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. No, you I've haven't. been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Nope. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. It's still gossip. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. The production zone, eh? So upstairs? Oh no, it's right here. No, upstairs. Whoa, whoa, careful. What are you thinking, Lenny? Huh? Let's not. Yo. That look in your eyes. You found something? Uh, a little something, yeah. Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we <laughs> found a boatload of information. Yeah, we found a little, a little something. Oh, <laughs> As expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Lenny's, Lenny's like a proper venti. Huh. I'd have never guessed not that myself. Uh, the rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all, and Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Yeah, I bet you know all about Harbingers, Lenny, huh? Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be linked to his disappearance. He's trying to find Clorand. Most important thing right now is to catch up with him. His escape route is already flooded, so we'll have to test someone with professional diving skills to chase after him. Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremen would be up to the task. Oh, <laughs> uh, Woody, though? Woody. Bingo! Is he around? Oh. He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. Please do. We're counting on you. It's the least I can do. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Oh, no. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six mm. days from now. Oof. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. What? Right. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremenet while we're at it, too. Nine days? Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremenet prepare for his diving mission. So... You are the only ones we can count on. What do you want us to do? Hmm. Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. You've uh -huh. mentioned several sketchy looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier. So it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. 
But also, right. there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. Sounds good. Uh, my apologies. I just started rambling out of habit. <sighs> it was almost as if I was talking to my younger sister. But that's not a bad thing, right? But what if I am the older sister? All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Wait, what? Let's go our separate ways for now, then. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. All right, black screen, nine days later. So there's some broken pie mines, there's some person in the infirmary. Oh, I forgot about this part, Max. Say, Jween. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Hmm. Hmm? There seem to be several people inside. Let's try and ease up on them first. I love how they, they literally just like, they take the model and just slant them. <laughs> so, dude. After playing against them for a while, you just see all the little tricks they do. You and Paimon hide in the corner, try your best to eavesdrop on them. So people appear to be engaged in a conversation, but they only manage to... Blah, 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 blah. It's not impossible. Oh, there she is again. She looks like... Uh, she just looks like a... Just like the Mosey. I mean, she is basically one, but... So close. It's so time. hard to understand them from here. So, why don't we just try to talk to them in person? Let's go. Oops. You nod and take a long, deep breath before inhaling a large amount of vapor. Uh, alchemy. You failed alchemy? Why are these go so fast? You can't even read them. Oh, we're faking we're sick. Whoa, are you okay? Oh my, what's wrong, little one? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Behind doesn't know what to do. Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <laughs> <gasps> Could it be poisoning? I mean. Let me take a look. Please, lie down over here. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Don't worry, Oops. I'll get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. Oh, let's see this. Let's see this. Nope. <gasps> you can do it, Traveler! You can do it. Yeah, hold up the description. I don't know why we don't have to... Don't get uh, to control it. Yeah, sometimes they give us like, the option just to like click the next, you know, slide, but they're just like, <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> well, I guess we could just assume what happened. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. Breathe in, breathe out. I hope I'm not so healthy that she gets suspicious. <laughs> I see now. You're hungry. My checkup has confirmed that she's not in any mortal danger. <gasps> that's our worst fear out of the way. Eh? Oh, that's good. But I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please relax and take a deep breath. That's, uh, I can't say that word. To say that the scope, that the scope. Take one using your hands to uh, palpate, uh, or palpate different areas of my ab or abandoned abdomen. Seems like she's using elemental energy too. Wait, what? Her expressions are growing more and more relaxed. Elemental energy. <sighs> Don't sense serious damage to your organs either. Does it hurt when I press here? It's not too bad. Hmm. And here. Oof, that hurt a little. Uh -huh. But based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. 
my acting a bit over the top. What about here? Does this hurt? No, not really. I can barely feel it. Oh. Hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Hmm. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. Me looks like she's freaking out right now. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. Congratulations. Okay, well, they weren't risk kidding. is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Uh oh. Miss Lorene, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. <sighs> don't take the medicine. Hopped away, just like that. Hopped away? Bunny confirmed. Simulation admission is going much more smoothly than I imagined. Next, there are only two people left in the room. You knock one out and then the other one. No. This being uh, called that woman, Lorene. So she has to be one of those frequent visitors in the infirmary. I've heard her before. Uh, would that mean that the next the man next to her is a jury? Hello. So how are you feeling now? Still not great. I keep staring at her uh, till or it'll draw an attention. I can't read. It'll draw unwanted attention. That guy also seems to have noticed. Now he's looking my direction Her too. stomach aches really bad. She was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. If Miss Sejuin says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. But it also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. I was going to say the exact same thing. I said, nope, she's the only medic. Ah, uh, well, that's true. What do you oh, mean that's, him. that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course, I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone in prison here is useless, you know? Useless. Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sichuan take care of the sick and injured. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? Aren't you a patient, too? Where did all your energy come from? Uh... Hmm. Ah, that's correct. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Sejuin prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her... <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Sejuin's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages ago. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. What did you do? Hey, don't start arguing now. Please, keep it civil. Keep it civil. They have a pretty terrible relationship. Only run into each other because they came here to pick up their meds at the same time. But outside of those two... There's nothing suspicious inside the room. All the files on the table appear to be patient records. And while there's a box, I can't check it out right now. There also, in, there also aren't there many furnishes on the wall. Huh? There's some, there seems to be some kind of movable hatch on the ground. Hey, there. hey! There's no need to fight! Everyone will be released someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things like this! Someday, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives? The presence of the movable hatch is, isn't strange by itself, but perhaps it's my adventurous intuition speaking. But isn't it a bit strange that there's a movable hatch here of all places? Is it hiding somewhere? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Boy. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. And same to Dang. you, Miss Lorvine. Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. See you later, everyone. Hmm. 
He just slowly walked off like that? Hmm. <laughs> That's just what he's like. I'm sorry you had to see all of that. I'm Lorvine, and that's... Well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. You really can't stand him, No, huh? it's the opposite. I mean, she do you blame him. me? Who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? <clears throat> but there's no need to keep dwelling on him. Nah. I... I'll accompany you two for a while. Miss Seashween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. Thanks for looking after me. No, no. It's nothing. I'm back! Did you rest like you promised? Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Seashween. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Well, Here, Jira did. This should be two days' worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Mm, oh, we actually took it? Ah, uh, Miss Lorvine, I left in a bit of a hurry just now. Do you still remember if we discussed the color of the pill that you should be taking today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Hmm. Oh, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't hear it. At first. I understand. These are yours. Please, make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. Alright, then I'll also be on my way now. I hope you feel better soon, too. <laughs> Thanks. See ya! When will it be a... your medical record now. You're widely known as the Traveler, right? I just want to double check a few details, if that's all right with you. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead. No. So her primary symptoms are abdominal pain, with secondary symptoms of nausea. Is there anything else? Hmm. That's it. All right then. Hmm. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? No, her base constitution is quite good, so I'm sure she'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods, and don't stay up too late at night. Got it! Paimon will hold the Traveler to that for sure! Looking at me, start taking a nap, like she said. Oh, you're going to take a nap already? Okay then, you get some rest. Move yourself to a regular person's bed and relax completely. We've been to lots of places Excuse together. Me. She may look a bit under the weather now, but she's actually super strong. Oh, so you're the best of companions. Well, don't worry, she'll recover soon. Hmm. Being in the world brings forth a wave of comfort. Let yourself oh, relax and fall into a restful sleep. You slept for a really long time, but we never left. Feel a lot better. Thank you both. Well, now you can go back without a worry in the world. Remember to take your meds regularly, and remember bland foods. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Sijuin. So we learned that there was at least that little hatch. At least it was that. I think Sidgeween's a little sus. There's some weird things about this place, the movable hatch on the ground, as well as the question Sidgeween asks Loreen and how they really don't talk about meds before they walked in. She can read minds. Loreen and Jira's argument genuine or are they just putting on a show? Hmm. Paimon, hear me out. Whoa! You really are super thorough! All those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up on! We've got to give the info to Linny. Yeah, a little Sasuke. A little Sasuke. We did on most of your station as normal during your shifts. However, you manage to find opportunities to investigate more. That disguise isn't... Disguise? 
Hey, okay, we're here. Ninth day. It's feminine time. Today's the day. Let's go meet up with Lenny. It's feminine time. Hello. Hmm? Did you two here? run into any trouble over the past few days? No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. Hmm, that's good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infirmary. We've taken a look at the slip you've sent. Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago. And as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremenay's help, you've already done more than enough. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. Well, Lynette sense. also <laughs> felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. So that's what Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Yeah, Lynette's been really busy, it seems. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenay returns. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Is now really a good time to go over? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette knows this as well, right so lunch. this should be a good time to meet up with her. Heard about that too? Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. Yeah, yeah, Lenny. Okay, then let's head over right away. I don't want to get started on his brother and sister talk. Head to the infirmary in secret. Uh oh. Oh, okay, we're good. Lynette should be here right now. Unless oh. she's been captured. Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? Because she had found a lead and follow it? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to let me know. Unless... Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Who knows? Maybe she'll be back soon. Mm. Okay. Trailer says no. Let's search for some clues in the infirmary. There are some books here and a few files. They all look like medical records. Hmm... Advanced nursing, how to raise the spirit of your patients, a quick guide to the psychology of emotions, and the meaning of laughter. These sure are some interesting books. Who knew Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things? I mean, it's just she anything. Has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Hmm. Is it because she's a melazine? Or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional state? Hmm. Seems quite normal to me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. That's fair. There's a third one somewhere. That's not the middle one. I guess it's gotta go in order. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in, except that one over there. The pillow was moved. You said she was pretending to be sick. Mm-hmm. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare-up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is made this bed is still unmade. Which means either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Hmm. It's not a good sign. She's sus. Uh, 
Mm. That one part when Sidreen was talking about like... Was it cannibals? No, that was a different thing. But she's talking about something and it's just like it was real weird. It's real weird. Sidreen just has a whole bunch of like Wait, this thing, patience it down there. Look like it's been disguised that well. Looks like a personal little hatch, so just stepping on the, the top. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm, let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic, just take another look. Oh, don't panic. Look at Lenny's face, he's definitely beginning to panic. Don't panic. Probably least said that subconsciously more to himself than anything else. Yeah. True. Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it too. It reads... Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. This is... Is... is that all? Anything on the back? The back? <sighs> this... this is... Show me, now! <sighs> the, that look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now. Would you care to guess where Miss Why do you have of to... the Fatui could be right now? Of the Fatui. No. Could she have... Is she already... Rithesley. Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? What is... What does he want with... What? Because Papa is the MC, sure. <laughs> Wait, you mean he was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? But why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since. Hmm. We did nothing wrong. Travel here. <laughs> oh no. Why would he choose to act during our second infiltration attack instead of the first? Yes. That is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. As it always, Lynette. You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervulet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. Why do you only go after Lynette? I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? Panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation's different now. Yeah, so I was saying, like, why is it always in it? Going back to the last time, that was a lot more scary probably last time. <laughs> Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means the fact that Fremenet was able to leave Music. the grounds. Could Risley have let him go as well? So he let Lynette go as well and Feminine? Or. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going back to this. My mind was going somewhere else. He deliberately made them both disappear. So he's challenging me and trying to provoke me. I'm sure of it. We never should have sent out Fremenet. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. Hmm. Lenny's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. Yeah, let's scream at him. Lenny, calm down. Don't be like this, Lenny. Fremenet wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. I'll go talk to Risley. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please talk some sense into him! 
him. We can't talk, Paimon. I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. Again. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back. <laughs> Run. I knew it. I knew it. The real criminal. <gasps> right. Is it a smile? I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. <laughs> Ain't no way. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. Cicerine's like, yes, my plan is all come together. <laughs> my appearance is all but a disguise. Is someone? Pack everything up. Whoever's outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. Sasuke. Yeah, she, she's dead. I knew it since the final feast. <laughs> she was trying to get Risley to drink a drink. Something was inside of it. Whoa, hmm. are you okay? The true villain. Huh. These two. As expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. Hmm. I like smart people, but I also like playing dumb. I like the feeling of being trusted. Bro, what is this? This is, this is terrifying. Oh my! What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Oh gosh. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Oh no. It's no Let's take a turn. To catch up to him. It's a turn we were all waiting for. Never trust the rat people. You know what? That lady was right. How can we trust the millazines? And that goes for Nouvellet too. How is he so fast? Let's go ahead and watch that True. How are you so fast? He's using R5 great magic. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> And that's it. Traveler died. She put the, gave us the medicine. It made us all woozy. We fell over, and that's the end of the traveler. The end. Do -do. <laughs> fell off the roof. Do -do. So we gotta go to oh the Duke's office. That's for end. There it is. It's pretty good. Uh, when I first met Sejuine, I initially thought she'd be more more adorable than Klee. I take that back. I take that back. Instantly. Yeah, I said, like I said, that conversation that we had before kind of told me, like, something was weird about her. It's really off. It's all a fake. Come out and face me, Risley! Hmm. He Are did. Are we added administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from the fortress's indoor management regulations? See, that's what I was waiting for. Something like this with Risley. What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. I don't, I don't like this, uh, Lynette getting abducted. I don't like this. Stop joking around. Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette, Lynette alone. Would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? <laughs> no. He's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. What are they trying to do? You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start. 
So you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation, just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. <sighs> Don't worry, you're missing some Mad Hatter. He likes tea. As for Fremini... <laughs> no. Mad Hatter. You probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go, so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. Tell him his plan. There was no need to do so. The fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was <laughs> quite easy to identify your colleagues. So he looked around and he was like, who looks like a playable character? You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremenet has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremenet is not. Your hands? He's not. <sighs> what do you really want? He didn't want him. Lenny! Oh, wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. <laughs> These people are insane. I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? This kind of all adds up, too, going back to the those two guys um, talking about how Rissa used to be a criminal. Wait, you can't mean you locked him outside in the sea? Is this explaining why he's out there? I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Hey, look at his eyes. Fremen is a star diver, so he should be fine, right? Not with no snorkel. No, we're still here, so we definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless mm. of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. It's like creepy. It's like a Batman level enemy. Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. What are you trying to do? Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I what? that he cannot last out there forever. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. Pickled in the brine. <laughs> I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally invite her over for a cup of tea with me. Risley's just trying to get all the ladies. What's going on, Riz? You want to see? He's father? trying to riz them. <laughs> but why should she bother giving you an audience? <laughs> He's trying to use his riz. He's not doing a good job at it. Well, if she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. What the hell? I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a harbinger like father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. What are you talking about? Was this the extent of your master plan to get to father? 
No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along Blackmail? with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Mr. Linney, you have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... <sighs> Linny! Mm. Instead of asking why I'm doing this... Ain't no way. Why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. Really? I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. Or just the Fatui in general. Or Lenny. I... I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Oh, I shouldn't of... Ask Father? Six. Five. Oh, gosh, dang. Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. He just skipped it really is three, four... What? Funny. You can't skip numbers? It's cheating. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. Ten, nine, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Please wait. Can we really talk this out or talk about this more? Yeah, listen to the traveler. If you can't talk to Linny, can you at least talk to us? And what's with your tea? You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervalette. Yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. So does to that. Please spare from an A and Lynette. Hmm. Say fine. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? Mm. I did a good job with, uh, getting his voice acting. Three, two, tea time! I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Uh-oh. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? I can't believe he's asking about the hidden rules. If I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, if you keep working without any rest during the lunch hour on the third day, you will find a potion of strange meat in your welfare meal. It's a good thing that we already hit the end of the investigation on this. Let's see if I can remember all the clues. I should be able to find an answer if I can piece it in together. Oh, this is us. Ah, shoot. Okay. Break the hidden rule in the production zone. Your welfare meal might contain some strange meat. Uh, who will see it if you keep working continuously? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sijuin be doing during that time? Ria's VS is pretty good. I like the lot in the. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, really? Huh. What do you know? According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament only took place because the Fanta Company sponsored it. Nah. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. Because of that, the Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appear rather strange and alien to humans. So this is a three days in a row. Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near their production zone. Seems like she can perceive the Wait. general state of a person's health just by looking at them. You're telling me who will see it if you keep working continuously? And I got there's going to be three different answers. Huh? No, it's not the Fanta. The Fanta promoter has been struggling because mm. he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. Meanwhile, 
Nope. Oh, now we're just I've been told that elimination. The is always empty for the I'll be honest, I did not really piece that one together. Ah, so that's what's going on. Paimon understands it now. Who would have guessed? Hmm. The hidden rule of the production zone. People are not supposed to work three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. It's back. At first we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Okay. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However... Unfortunately, Melusines as a race perceive the world differently from humans and their sense of aesthetics is even more, more alien, alien to, to us. us. Well, that's what I said to, to throw in there, but I guess that wasn't part of it. Are we on the right track? <laughs> Not bad. You've uncovered Sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well. It's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. So it's not a bad thing, but it's her secret? All right, now for my next question. There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? Someone tries to support both parts at the same time. I receive a package next in the morning that contains a strange blood colored liquid. So, of course, got that one. Uh, okay, so pancr pancreation ring. Hmm. According to Collins, the pancreation tournament. Stuff like. The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world. Yeah, so now we've been, been over that. The is always empty. Fonta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of. We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoner. prisoners. The promoter has been struggling because he does. The research notes. How is it going to be? How is it going to be four on this? Why is this strange? Oh, 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 never mind. Okay, I see, I see. Fonta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial. We often see Miss Sijuin. Yeah, the okay. Fonta promoter has been struggling. See, now that makes sense. It's all related to Fonta. Easy clap. Ah, Paimon gets this rule too now, so there really was nothing to be afraid of. That hidden rule of the pancreation ring is about how, um, people are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. Or red. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a hmm. bottle of the latest yet to be named and packaged new Fonta trial product. I acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fonta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Uh, I haven't gotten enough information for that question yet. <laughs> Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley. You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. Whoa. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremenet never even crossed your mind. Lenny. You'll pay for this? <laughs> Wait, what? He got shot from the back? Oh, close one. I owe you, Siege Wing. That was a Man, fantastic Man, everybody show. is just the villain. It was nothing, Your Grace. Is that a gun? What is that? Siege Wing? This whole place is just messed up. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. Siege... 
Wayne. You. you. <laughs> Are you his accomplice at all, at all this? Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here, he told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. Well, you just shot him in the neck. How, is, how does that figure? But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? You're supposed to know Valette. Why not learn a thing or two about virtue from him? But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right you now. You just shot him in the face! His grace knows it too, right? Your grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? <sighs> my dear Sijuin, whatever shall I do with you? I'll say people strange me. Just wait another minute or two. I really don't think Risley would have just let Lenny throw a car at him or whatever he was going to do. <laughs> DPS Sijuin. Literally as a gun. Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do Ugh. things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want. But let them go. Oh no, what's going on? Mm hmm how touching. Can you what? just give me one more minute? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. I'm so confused. I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You... What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps. I feel like Lenny's like the only one that's like... really into this. <laughs> The door suddenly slams open, a familiar figure busts into the room. It's <gasps> some space, please. Oh, that's gonna be new lot. What Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. What are you doing now? What is Nathan. happening? <laughs> oh, he's dead. From a day. I ripped those. <laughs> it's over. First, uh... What's going on? What is Clarin doing here? Playable character, death. Work. Work? I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing effect <laughs> will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. I'm sorry about shooting you. What happened to Fremine? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? These symptoms that can't be. A flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed primordial seawater. Oh gosh! I mean, isn't he from Fontaine? So shouldn't he be like disappeared? What did you say? Uh, please make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremine to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. What is going on? Oh. Yeah, let's try to understand the situation, indeed. She's about to blast them with this. Oh, let's see him sit up straight. Uh, yeah, so. The thing is, like. The things that have happened in this jail. Oh, well. What's that look on your face? I thought I made good time on the way back. Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Sijuin may have been forced to shoot Mr. Linny again. Again? How's the situation out there? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased significantly. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one were to stay for any significant amount of time... Well, you can see how that boy is doing. Where was he when you found him? The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. 
What? Like, what's the ultimate plan here? What's going on? Closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Locking the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Should I kill them or save them? Well, I did try to convince them that I had my reasons. Never seems to work, though. Should I put the fear in them? It would probably work on Nuvillette. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. What's your values? Who do you respect? Who do you not? Uh, that's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Nuvillette. Want some tea? What's going on? Mm, not particularly. If you want what to drink is... some that badly, just say so. What is with him and his tea? Fine, I'd like to get some tea. Want me to get you a cup too, since I've already made it? Oh, we should have known from the final feast. That's why you wanted the tea instead. Uh, might as well then, I suppose. <laughs> Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. What's <laughs> going Oh... I can't. I cannot. <sighs> this expression looks disgusted. Poor Lenny, I'll just say that. I should have a child with E. Use new plans. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Blast him. It seems uh, like he'd rather have a Sigwin's touch or Sigwin touch remnant. Wait. He didn't stop her, since it's obvious that her maid does not require urgent medical care. So this is how you heal. So she means examining uh, Fermanet carefully. She does not look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope Fermanet will be okay. Uh, how is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Let's leave him here for now and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. I wonder if Fermine is actually not from Fontaine. Uh, sorry. She should be gone. I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. Mm -hmm. Why would he ingest a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? It's probably like by an accident, I almost drowned. Please, look after Mr. Fremine for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. If my calculations are correct, she should also be waking what? up right around now. <sighs> You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Okay, I guess. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's trying to get us riled up with the previous speech. Linny, are you okay? Oh yeah, I just shot her. Yeah. I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. But the thing was like they kind of tried to get you thinking one thing before but the thing was like the the things that we found out weren't necessarily like bad you know like they were all rumors that didn't really mean anything it wasn't like grizzly was the big bad villain it was like i don't know i'll just keep going but True, not everything is as it seems, that is true. Phase clan sick me. <laughs> 360 no scope. Get no scope. Yeah. Are you I... sure? You don't look alright. I have no idea. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects of the tranquilizer shot. I've lost the thread. I'm back, everyone. She's back. Lenny! Oh, Traveler, Paimon, you're here too. Fremine? Is he... Ditch. He'll be fine. But for now, please help me lift him up. I'd let Lene and Lynette immediately... <laughs> Just wait for Fremine to start swinging. <laughs> Pear. His 
breathing's beginning to slow down. Give me a hand and help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. Lynette, together? On it. Forever. Oh. Traveler, you seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? Very well. The Duke and Clarander gone. They probably went to get some tea. Huh. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Clarand will need a break, since she only just returned from rescuing Fremenay out of the sea. Clarand saved Fremenay from the sea. Just what happened there? I don't know, Lumine. I don't know. I do not know. I genuinely do not know. I guess they were like trying to play mind games on us, but... Uh, if... Just see the rest. Is this back in the infirmary or infirmary floor? <coughs> what was that? Five. He's awake. Fremenay, how do you feel? <sighs> Lenny, Lynette. We're all here. Uh... Where, where am I? Am I? The infirmary at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremenay, and you are no longer in any danger. Yeah, surely. How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. Uh, traveler, Paimon, <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, the sea, there's something wrong with the seawater. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No, listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. Hmm. What happened after you second to the pipes? Pipes. Uh, right, the pipes. It's all coming back to me now. Isn't it nice to, like, talk to Feminine because I haven't really done so? Maybe not in the state, but. And act four complete. See you in 40 days. I'm in. Hmm. Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. Where could Master Child be? Hey, this is really cool. I like this. I was, I was like, literally in the back of my head wondering if he would actually like play this part. This is actually cool. I like this. I like whenever like we're not the traveler. Because it really, really sells the story more. It helps out a lot. Oh boy, what do we got going on here? Level 90, Royal Greatsword. Noblesse, C3. So it's just like story quest, kind of a story quest style. How often do you get to play the Archon quest with a... Uh, I guess sometimes you do. Get to play another character. Sometimes. Who? Tao, yeah. Oh man, that is that is definitely This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Could he have done it? Oh, that's not water. Never mind. Hmm. Like when they put Rile on characters? Yeah, it's definitely a change of pace. Like it's kind of a a set that doesn't get too much too much play but it's not bad it's basically kind of like the fontaine class it's like crit as your uh passive <laughs> royal i'll never be royal 
Yeah, I like this a lot. This is actually a really cool section. Dude, we got a lot of health. Got to go on the Fremenet adventure. And like see what he saw, but actually experience it. So while it is a story. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Whoops. While it is a story, it is also a game at the end of the day. Oh. Oh no. And that's how Fremen A died. He didn't make it. Never to return. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> gonna have to make a bunch of like game over screens. Can I use gadgets here? What? Rip. Oh, this is this counts as a domain? Oh. Oh, I guess it was like a one-time way to get up there. Although Tomb Raider had much more advanced and convoluted puzzles. But this reminds me of it though. It's time to bring pear. Oh no. Oh, I don't have stamina. <laughs> Fell to death. Another game over screen. It's the most any archive quest has been failed ever. Okay. Let's make sure gliding is possible. Father! I wonder if there are any like chests in this area. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Dang, I mean, that's kind of scary. Just jump in there and see if you can even make it out. Got no, like, oxygen tank or nothing. <laughs> Just going in. I'm assuming lore-wise, you need to breathe. Like, gameplay-wise, you don't. Know? Vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently. Mm. Oh, there are traces here too. I need to keep going. What do you see, you see the traces underwater? The traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. Mm. Uh, wait. Whoa. What the? Uh, uh, my heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? No good. I have to get back. I still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. And then I woke up. Oh, wait, nope. Oh, shoot, we got... Can't really... See what it is, but we got... Purple. Purple on us. This mission is it's fine. That the time during this mission, somehow I managed to survive. <laughs> That's the story. Got primordial ill on us. I can't die here. No, you already did three times. This is, uh, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. Uh, push on. I have to push on. Oh. Oh, there she is. Clarion swimming animation. She know. She got there so fast. She went from being next to Farina at her post to in the jail. 
Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. But there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Mm-hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and you know the rest. Hmm. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too He's like, oh, I need to go see. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Cloran. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another few days, so there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able hmm. to explain better than me. Got it. I'll yeah, go talk with it's him. It's about time he actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us, Liddy? Uh, no, please no go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself the to The logical leave. part. Both of you are just in danger. Mm. Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. In that case, oh. I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. No, leave me alone. I don't want to get shot in the back. Thank you. I'll go alone. I'll ask Grace. Grace. Hmm. <laughs> Blast. I... I'm so sorry, Lenny. I'm also really sorry, Lenny. I should have been more careful. Don't say that. It was all my fault. <sighs> I was the one who should have been more careful. You two were nearly... If I was stronger, maybe I would have already found Master Child. No, how can you say that? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's just saying I'm is, sorry. We all dropped the ball at some point during the I'm mission. Sorry. So the responsibility falls on all of us. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. It's on all of us. <sighs> Lenny, we understand that you're worried about us, but we're worried about you as well. Please don't blame yourself. We want you to keep your spirits up. No, it's too late for that. Yeah. What a wholesome re uh, reunion. I guess so. I'm on the way, Risley. Hello. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Clarand. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. Mostly. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. No! Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. I mean, there's not really How much to explain. Enlighten? It's just kind of like, I don't even know what he was trying to do. Please enlighten us in, uh, as much as you'd like. Mm, but where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Pine why? Will begin. Did you know about <laughs> Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Just why? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. I mean, honestly, just from the general standpoint of, uh, true. <laughs> Ask him a question. Where is our sibling? That's that's the main question to be asking right now. Um, but yeah, I, I, going from like the general perspective of Risley, I guess it makes sense if you know the, some harbinger is 
sending out Fatui operatives to go investigate his prison. Um, I guess he would be alarmed, so. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? I mean, I guess you would be on edge, right? How about my journey to that life? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. I mean, I'll be honest, if it was that perspective, I can't really blame you. I didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Okay. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. He definitely made it seem like he did. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. I mean, that's fair. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremene has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Because yeah, the way it was told, it was like they were happy about the seawater. Are the rumors true that you're also a former criminal? That's a good question, Paimon. Now, why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. So, yes. Oh, right. Paimon wanted to ask, who invited Clarence down here? Hmm. Paimon very rude. Now that, that one, while it may have been, I kind of want to know too. Me, of course. I paid her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. Crisis? And saving Fremene was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. Yeah. The, the Forbidden Zone actually exists. That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. You don't know that. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremene. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? True. You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yes. Yeah, Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Yes. Follow me. Uh-oh. We're going to his underground cave. Where'd you go? Follow Rizley. Much more like a missing Clarin. I have money. I'll be about. There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh. You're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. That'll be about 7 million more. I guess what about the secret passage thanks to the elemental site when I first entered. Oh, Risley's office. Oh, really? It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. Oh, it's like, was this all like a white highlight right here? Like what, before the stairs are there? Risque. Stand on the central plate. Loot goblin. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! What happened to the lighting? Everyone has taken their positions in circular plate. 
It begins to move downwards. Oh, domain. We are in a domain. Oh, this is the Forbidden Zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. And that is... What a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? Well, I... Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. <laughs> well, I'd advise <laughs> you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Also, we're here now, so we're not going to go back. Is this a domain? Yep. I heard the domain sound. I was like, we're in domain. Uh, maybe. This place looks very gold. Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. What's in the middle of that room? Go on, have a look. It's primordial waters he's keeping. He's storing. <sighs> this room is really empty with nothing here, which is quite strange on its own. There's also the device smack dab in the middle of the room. This looks like some kind of massive sluice. Okay. I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. So not bloom my game? That's so bright. The readings on that dashboard oh, have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes <laughs> on this place. But over the past what year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position. What am I Likely looking at? Some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. What am I looking at? Normally, I would have ignored it, but I happen to have some free time when Heaven. I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? The water pressure. Hmm. hmm. I see. Very reasonable guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. I wonder why Risley's eyes look the way they do. It's been... maybe he is blind. The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities mm. occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. That was not good. The concentration of primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea! And that is under precisely the, sea. the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. I wonder why. Maybe, like, like how about come out of nowhere? Primordial seawater is continuously leaking through the sea. Yes, that's very likely. So what's Charles doing? But, forget about the two of us. Not even Novelet knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find a plug of le Oh. Oh. Seems like you've figured it out. Oh. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although what? the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. <laughs> if this continues... What's that? Soon, it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea at all. The primordial sea is leaking, though. If this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Yeah, you know what the legends say. 
If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. Span of a second. Shit into a nuclear reactor. But that's just too weird. Why would the fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the primordial sea? Who built this place anyway? Well, probably didn't know the primordial seawater was going to rise that high. Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. <laughs> Underwater sun. It's not red, it's it's just yellow. I think it's fine, sir. <laughs> sure. I think you got your readings messed up. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. Egeria. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from Egeria. the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Dragon, or dragon's, dragon's bane. Dragon spine. Some of them began to repent and prayed to the Hydro Citadel. Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them and said, you may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. Mm, so the last Hydro Archon, this was, this was all, she did this. And so, leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years, helped it to grow. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. Oh. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Hmm. So they might go back up. Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. The times were very vastly different. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. <laughs> now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. Elderly historian, huh? But now you know every Ooh. part of that history is true. Indeed. That's just as the prophecy says. I was just about to say. If this Sorry. gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. I was going to say, did he say anything about the prophecy to you? Do you believe in the prophecies? To be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. When you witness it, that's kind of already too late at that point. So as a Duke of Meripede, just what do you plan to do about it? Let's this? go somewhere else. I want to show you something. Hmm. Oh, we're going to be transported. Yep. This is it. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have... Wait, Jury, he's not alone. Huh? Lorvine and you? No, 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 keep going. Keep, keep talking. No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? Are you sure? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. 
All right, then, if your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Oh, you have no idea. Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin. <laughs> Ed who? He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. Uh, Everyone yeah. knew he was a bit crooked in the head, but you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you not to have heard of him. Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. I hired sense. him to be my technical consultant. You... you want to blow up the <laughs> fortress of Merope? Ah, what a lovely idea. I'm already what? imagining it in my head. Gotta admit, I'm tempted as well. <laughs> Guys, focus! Focus! <laughs> oh, I would love to. <laughs> that taskmaster over there is Miss Lorveen, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Ooh, are they together? Was that really necessary? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a convenient cover? That's what I said. I... Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. Mm-hmm. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Jeez. Forget I said anything then. Follow me. Hmm. Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. Chapel. But Paimon really thinks everything's super cool. And that's why from my set, you want to want to blow something up. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'll bring her there. Uh, is this just a normal room? Well, let's spice it up a bit. And here you go. Oh, whoa, is that like a... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What a huge... ship? I was gonna make a joke, but it's probably, probably not funny. This is also a production zone that Paimon's <laughs> never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? Uh, not much. I, uh, not much at all. Unless I'm speaking the truth about my mom. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine Ooh. used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. Lemurian dynasty? Hmm. The Moby Dick. <laughs> yeah. Building the Ark. Uh, no, I was going to make a Titanic reference, but... According eh. to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being say that, that's where it is. by divine revelation and found, he found the spirit Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. Wait, according to legend, the Lemurian king Remus? Remus? Uh, he came to this land after being inspired by a divine revelation and found the seer Sibylia, who took the form of a golden bee. Took the golden bee with him, running on, huge, on a huge ship, the Fortuna. He called his nation huh. Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in this story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. So why is this keeping this down here? Hmm. Do you believe that too? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor materials and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Fortuna? Hmm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. This is the plan for the ages? Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. 
All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Do you have any other questions? Where's my sibling? Seems like you're good. Come on, I'll take you back. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Um, the world quest. Oh, I don't know if I've actually went through that one yet. I'll leave you here for now. Oh, uh, thank you so much. No worries. But don't Polite forget, Paima? it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. He means that my actions now will decide the next steps for Lenny's groups takes. Otherwise, if I wanted to learn the truth, I must take him. Must make him understand that we cannot afford excessive conflict right now. Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Great. I look forward to what happens next. Hmm. Achievement. So, can I go back in there and actually see what that thing was? Let's turn off <laughs> Bloom. And maybe some other settings too. <laughs> oh, actually, can't go down again. I don't think. We're back. You know what? Yeah, this song reminds me of like Death Loop. This is like a a game made by the same people who made the Dishonored series. Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? How can you be so much like Risley, always drinking tea? Yeah, I was gonna say what. Huh. Actually. Now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything from the leaves to the water and even the teacups themselves. Must have been Risley and Sishween. Yeah, I mm. heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. Really? I really can't make sense of this place. Neither, Feminine. I'm right there with you. So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, he explained everything. Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? This is a lot more like his old self. Yeah, I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So let's just talk here. All right, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Ask myself three questions? Firstly, why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is... The long-lost Primordial Sea is probably very close to the Fortress of Meripede. Ooh, he's good. He got that right on the first try. That's our Lenny. So I guess he's just, I guess we're just going to let him know the real truth. Secondly, Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. Dang, you got it. What's more, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of a no-man's land. As long as the Fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. So, as long as the Fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Arlecchino can use it to pressure the Fontaine's authorities. So the Fortress and the Fatui? Risley will be free to move between the parties of If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Yeah, Lenny, he's got it. Lenny's across the big picture is amazing. You're super smart. <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? 
All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Ah, uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people Golly, here never get to see. Man. He has a what bargaining the heck? chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. What did you do? You knew everything. I don't have enough information, so I have no idea what his chip might be. But let me guess. You have the last piece of the puzzle. All right, so we share it with him. <sighs> I can't believe it. The sea will engulf everyone, just like the prophecy said. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? If you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our father. No matter what, we're on your side. Are you sure? The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. <laughs> Look at Lynette smiling. I didn't see that too often. Though you may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. You have my gratitude. You have my gratitude. Thank you for protecting Lenny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know you can make a choice. I thought it was just like a one option. Sudden. Don't mention it. Oh, we didn't get our meal for the day. Rip. Uh, Paimon, Paimon's hungry. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, you've done so much already. Go get some food. All right, then we'll catch you guys another time. Hmm. I probably wouldn't have if I know. <sighs> I feel like I should try to become someone more capable of helping. You're incredibly helpful. Lenny thinks so too. Yeah. Right, Lenny? You two are always telling me not to push myself, but aren't you just like that as well? Yeah, honestly, hey, I didn't realize you couldn't. I may not have told him either, actually. Take it easy. Well, oh. Set in stone now. I guess it can't be like a telltale game where it really does matter. Actually, I guess it could. It's time for dinner. Welfare meals now being served at the coupon cafeteria. Time for dinner. We didn't tell them that they'll be waiting. They're still be uh, willing to help with anything, but they just don't know what's going on. Oh. Come on, let's go pick up ours as well. Well, anyway, I would have figured it out anyways, because he <gasps> knows everything. Oh. Over here. No, get away from me. Run. Are you here for dinner too, Miss? to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Huh. You're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. What would you like to eat? Hmm? We could choose. Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Whoa. New animation. Then I'll have the tastiest stuff you can offer. Nah, forget Just leave it to me. I said, wow, so when orders leave the arrive, on like five days when you rely so on luck. Something, something, something. She also insists that Risley is a fan of them too. And generally tastes pretty terrible and you don't like the so food. Delicious. Free thinners are the absolute. Is this how it feels to be freeloaders? We're feeling full yet? How's Oops. the food? Delicious. Besides the milk, uh, I mean, everything was super delicious. Uh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see, the experience.
expression on your face just now, but the muscle here just moved, which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. I feel like that muscle ain't new more than she did. Seedween, do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? <sighs> bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> you're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like an Whoa. older sister. Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> That's great to hear. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well. Oh, that. I just asked his grace to look out for those children, especially that diver boy. I was getting a bit worried after hearing that something was wrong with the water. Thankfully, Clorand is very strong and managed to save him in the Clarand. nick of time. His grace also sealed the pipes after Clorand left, but to make sure that Linny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother. Although the path hmm. was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Clarand had returned. Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linny as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. I had to shoot him. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Oh. I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often, too. I feel like he'd like it here. With all the darkness and chaos. <laughs> would he? This doesn't make any sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nervula outside his office. Get a good night's rest, you two. Or at the Opera Epilus. Very hard. Hmm. Said to be a W detail of Sigmund's elemental side is slightly different from the other characters. He's a playable character later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, they ain't gonna do that, but... <laughs> no, no, that would be cool, though. <laughs> possible. It's possible. Chlorant. She's about as tall as the Yalon model. I wonder how similar Urban Ryan and Axe look side by side. The campaign begins. Uh, I oh know. Luckily, her eyes are drawn differently. I think, or at least more slanted, and more blue hair. Yeah, that would be a neat passive action. A nice one. Clarion. Ah. Uh. It's you two. How's dinner? It's all right. Miss Sijuin really put in a lot of effort. <laughs> That's Makoto in disguise. So we heard that Risley invited you to come down to help, and you saved Fremenay too. You sure work super fast. Oh, it was child's play. Ah, uh, it was child's play. Get it? <laughs> Still, Paima didn't know even Champion Duelist could take on side jobs. Oh. And why aren't you eating with Sijuin and the Duke? Won't you get bored eating by yourself? You don't want to make the children cry. Miss Sijuin was with you. And the Duke has business of his own. Hmm. Actually, didn't Navia say that you went out for dinner with her as well? Yeah. First time in a long time. First time in a long time. First time in a long time? So you mean you've gone out to dinner with her in the past? In the past, yes. <clears throat> you seem to be enjoying yourselves here. It's all thanks to Nuvolet. It's definitely a work trip for us, too. Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. Don't run around unnecessarily. Getting messy? What do you mean? Say what? No, she's gone. I'm not going to take any pictures. <laughs> I hope Chloran is not like. I hope she's not in like 4.7 or something. Let's just get like the Baizu treatment. That was fast. Dang. She's, she's gone. 
Delicious. Paimon wants seconds for free. Jesus. <laughs> for free. Out of my way. Get out of my way. Please, I gotta get my, my free meal. What happened? Why is everyone running? No idea, but something must have happened. Stop asking. <laughs> Why is everyone running? Oh, uh -huh. Who's yelling? Paimon still wants to sleep. What's that sound? Paimon, wake up. We need to go outside and see what's going on. She did say things are going to get real messy. Real messy. Football. Hey, what are you doing? There's no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, uh, hey, wait! What's mm. wrong with these people? They won't even talk to us. So the memory of the water must have gotten out. They're here! Yeah, there you are! Oh, thank goodness! Crystal and Lavaroon, do you know what happened here? They're running back towards us. These guys are we came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Lavaroon was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed, yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. What the music? Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Hey, shut up! Okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. Uh, you said his grace had to evacuate outwards? Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible. Upwards and outwards. Upwards and outwards. Seems whatever happened must have been down below. No, it's to get to the very bottom? Oh, no. It can't be that thing. When I hear that name, I feel like I'm hearing my name. Oh, okay, get it. Whoa, wait, what? Wait. What? Hey, where are you going? The, the sky or oh, oh, oh I get it. Lava, lava. We have to go find the Duke. You two just go and get out. Go on without us. Hmm. Hey, hey, be careful. I mean, where are we going? We're getting out of here. Hey, where are you two going? Upwards and outwards. Go, go, go. Let's go, people. Go, go, go. One more free meal. Oh, no. It's gone. Oh. So much for more work. No more free meals. Yeah, I do, I do like that. I like the music in the background, too. It's very fitting. Uh, I'm Brandon's. I mean, it's not there either. Brand online. Oh, we do need to go back. Yeah, Brand's gone. The guy who made it lunch and mostly. Oh, cutscene! <laughs> They're here. Just like I said. Dang, they're like a robot. Oh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> You're just in time, but be ready to run. That's what it looks like. Oh, here we go. The gauntlets. What are you gonna do, Grizzly? Stop the water with your fist? Oh. You got me. Smart. Yes, actually, true. You got me on that one. Oh. That looks like really detailed. He looks so awesome right there. 
Three, two, one. Ooh. Slide, slide, slide. Nice. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. See Some range? Of the are about to collapse. Does he have range attacks? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. <laughs> no hesitation. See ya. The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> Chlorine and Risley versus water. The door. That was a really cool cutscene. It got real close. I'm like he was just gonna get like slammed by the uh the do the door there. That was like super close. Nuvalet, why are you here? And I like how he has like range attacks, kind of. But I thought he was physical. Go <laughs> in your electro, what can you do? Moral support. So you create electro charge and uh Yeah, I got nothing. Traveler. I need you to head to the Opera House immediately. This is really good performance, you gotta see. Farina will soon be meeting with the Knave there. You must protect Farina, and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Wait, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. We got something way more serious going on. Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. Wait, what? Huh? We didn't tell Nuvalet about... Oh, maybe he knows. Okay, maybe he's headed, headed down there. I guess. Hmm. I feel like we would have been like, hey, things are going really left down there. Nah, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Do -do. No problemo. Oh, hey, is this uh, Nadia and... What's his, what's his face? Look, there are a ton of Batui and Palais Marmonia people over there. Victor? The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Or just the, those same models. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? <laughs> Skip. Nervalet has left instructions. Please follow me. Though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation unlikely to give rise to violence. But it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Farina to the best of your abilities. Yeah, I guess Clorin's not here anymore, so we gotta do it. Do, 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 do. Unlikely. Oh, that's the fortune. This will be interesting. Oh no. <laughs> her, her switch. <laughs> oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. That was the fastest switch ever. Of course, of course. How could they not attend a meeting such as this? I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my yeah. station. Remember us, the people you accused? It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave, one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. So this is the Knave, the head of the head of the House of the Hearth, and Lenny, eh, and the Lenny siblings' father. She certainly does not seem easy to deal with. Pleasure to meet you. I've already prepared seats for you. Come. Sit beside me. Perhaps you two nice. are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. Dude, I cannot, like, I can't get over the eyes. It's so jarring. <laughs> Let me sit there instead. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here. Why don't you and Paimon have a taste? Oh, she knows she called you Paimon directly, Paimon. 
She seems friendly enough, uh, but I can't tell. Okay. She's friendly enough, but I can't I can't beat all that that's there to her. The knife is a force to be reckoned with. I shall I should be very cautious for Traveler, her. what do you think of this cake? That's pretty good. It's quite tasty, and I think Paimon agrees too. That's good to hear. So what child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. Wait, Chalice have no reason to say, say something like that? I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know? Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. I feel like she does not care at all about Chalice. I have faith in his abilities. Uh, since we are talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked certainly pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Rena looks quite nervous. There must be some kind of bad blow between her and the knife. No, it's probably just the knife is here in front of her face. Oh, so you are also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. <laughs> I must express my admiration for Monsieur Nuvillette. Oh, she said Nuvillette. We managed to find a few leads in his whereabouts. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Uh, but... I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. True. Uh, uh, well, in any case, there's no need to worry. We know for sure that Child is still alive. Do we? Oh. And just how do you know that? Because... Uh... Because we found evidence that proved he left the Fortress of Meripede! And where did he go after leaving the fortress? Oh, well, oh, that's, that's true. I want to shut up. Well... Oh no, Pama Sima just left this wide open. The Fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. <laughs> Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? Nope. But there's also no evidence that he has been injured or killed. Oh, that is good news, at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Oh, since no. he was unfortunately unavailable, I picked it up on his behalf. Mm. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like that? Wait, do you have any idea how he writes his family? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what letters child writes. She's uh, turning up the pressure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince her, but I can at least at least try to shout her from Farina. Sounds good to me, yes. All letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written or how it's worded. <laughs> uh, huh? <sighs> Hold on. The water in the tub is shaking. Hmm. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what, is what going you're trying on? to say. What's doing? Is Arlecchino controlling that? Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. Mm. 
sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. <laughs> wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. No time for jokes, <laughs> Riz. <laughs> Sounds about right. How are you gonna stop this? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this looks sick. Blast. A day may come when the With prophecies one hand? are fulfilled and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day. This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Wow. This sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. Mm -hmm. So he's just been like putting it off the whole time. This has happened like multiple times. All right. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. Hmm. Oh, she was eating the tea. Oh, that's a really cool ability. Then you just do that whenever she wants on command. Let me guess. We're safe for now. For now. <laughs> Indeed. But only for now. I win this bet. You owe me a present. <sighs> Very well. It was indeed just as you said. What kind of present? You made a bet? We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearances sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So what gift must the loser give? Tea? Tea? Mm. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Well, I'm sure his grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. Oh, look, we're just like casually chilling after that. <sighs> that was... Obviously a joke. Uh, anyway, you've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld, correct? No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Thank you. I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. Hmm. <laughs> we almost died. Yeah, you know, it's real close. Want some tea? That's what he should have said at the end. Tea, anybody? <sighs> I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. Miss Farina, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression, was I wrong? And you haven't a clue? What are you trying to say? <laughs> At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? Mm. The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Heart have devoted everything to saving their homeland. 
Gosh, it's going off. But you... It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. It's getting scolded. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. You tell her. Him, her, not him. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I have my ways. And I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved. Even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now. As long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. That's the spirit. Phoenix acting like her usual self. She actually is seriously refuting the nice accusations. She actually means what she says. She's not putting on a front. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it and what is it doing to help? <sighs> I... <sighs> so all that was a lie or can she really not tell us? She was so full of conviction and confidence just now, but now she's like a deflated and like a pop balloon. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. Mm. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Mm -hmm. mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. And my eyes are not mortal. No. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Uh, an emergency response plan? Mm hmm. Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? The... the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique Denelise Cardinal? Cardinal. And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnitium that has accumulated over the years? The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no <laughs> idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. Oof. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? It's just like really just driving the knife in. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellette is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina, I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business uh, she begged him to come along but he's the real the true archon ah uh, yeah yes that's exactly right please keep it a secret for me of course i will although i must say miss farina you seem quite insecure without the udax by your side <laughs> she's like so uh oh very well Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please help yourselves, <laughs> I everyone. I need to jump to that. 
These aren't topics I can speak about. I don't even know what Nuvolet's task was. If I had to guess, he probably went down to deal with the surging primordial sea, but he can really deal with that all by himself. Oh, he did. Is Freena being truthful or not? Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to oh, handle don't talk about me. on behalf of the Udex. Hey. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. Sure. You too, Paimon. Uh, thank you. Paimon will take you up on that offer. <laughs> the knife sees a change topic and raises a number of less than a Oh, Paimon's super full. That cake was great. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the name God for bringing it. these over as well. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my leave now. So what about the child? No, nothing. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must oh, be on my way. Shoot. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Paimon's coming too! Of course. Alfrina. You're screwed. No, check. The tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. It was nice knowing you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. Retiring? As the Archon? Hold on, this looks, it kind of doesn't look as good without the bloom. Yeah, now it, all, now it all glows. Retiring is forever? That was kind of, that was like slightly funny, but obviously very tense. Oh, she's like out out there. So that, that might be like the only, oh, I forgot. Yeah, we still have Act 3, or Act 5. But yeah, you know, it's always fun to see our main unit, the main characters, show up. Look at her. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. No. What? That's what Paimon thought. What did you want to say? You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth, as their father. I would like to express my gratitude. No. Oh. There's no need. I didn't think that's what you were wanting to talk about. Was there nothing else you wanted to say? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. Oh, look at that. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax. I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremenay are still there. And I trust their judgment and abilities. They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. Especially Lenny. You mean Rithesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Lenny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others. Including me. Hmm, it's like seeing a problem. It's actually a problem more than an advantage. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? <laughs> oh boy. Well, uh... You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. Well, here we go. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Uh, 
I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She mm. is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working <laughs> Archon. Yeah, true. Oh, come over Ooh. here, you little critter, you. Was this her in disguise? Who is this? I wish they had people look like that. <laughs> wow. You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! Really? My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. <laughs> Very interesting scenario this time. Hmm. Delusion? Uh. I don't know. Her when it was just a normal Fatui, maybe? Oh, like way back then, like moving up the ranks. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. Thing is, he doesn't have the Gnosis. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool... Oh, man, I wish we had got, like, alternate outfits for all Harbingers, like, right off the bat. Oh, that, that looks sick. It's like the, the slim fit outfit. The, the sort of, like, undercover outfit. Stealth outfit. Uh, yep, yeah, that's her hand. Yep. That's her hand. Her hands are just like completely just like dark. Like her hands are just I wouldn't say burnt, but I don't necessarily know if that's the case or not. But yes, her her hands are just It's just as I guessed in the they look like that. before I struck. The hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. They didn't trust it. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Oh, here's a cat. Covering the cat. She's under some kind of curse? Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please don't kill me. I'm begging you, please. Okay, so that was accurate in the trailer. The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way. Targeting her has lost all meaning. This is the stealth fit. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. <laughs> nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect Dang. even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Imagine that. That just happened right then and there. Whew. He is scared. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. To After death. returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. Mm. So she, does she recall that look and know that that's her? There's no doubt that there's something wrong Ooh. with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps... Udex Nuvillet is actually the genuine article. Hmm, she looks great in this shot. The shot is like such a, it's like a great like wallpaper, honestly. If the words were in the way. Or I'm moved by a little mouse. That's a really cool wallpaper. He's just like, hmm. She's no way she's the actual Archon. It's gotta be, well, I guess not exactly a Nuvillet, but Nuvillet is she said the genuine article. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillet hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Yep. Yes, father. Oh, oh, wait. I totally, I could have kind of forgot for a second. Okay. 
So they were all there. Hmm. My dear children, please speak. Why not a team of four? News from the fortress of Meripede. Master, Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Damn, Wendy sounds nervous. Probably the handiwork of that Rithesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Hmm. Hmm. Then it was my mom with Farina because all we know about her relationship with the previous icon is uh, Agira. Oh, picked her. Yeah, she's got to have like a like high potential or something. It's got to be something about her. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Udex Nuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part hey, of my plan, but Tartaglia. I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Udex Nuvillette. I knew she didn't care. She was just trying to use that to get through. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. Hmm, that didn't go too well. So I guess they were in Fontaine right there before they went to go meet them. You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Yeah, I like her outfit. Although the, the long hair definitely kind of shocked me. I didn't think that she was going to have long hair. You attacked the Hydro Archon? Tried to. Nearly. It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Mm, that's why she put the fear in her. Uh, all right then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. <laughs> I once surmised that Udex Nuvillette must be the Hydro Archon, but now... That doesn't seem right to me either. How did you come to that conclusion? I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Udex Nuvillette or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. I, I wouldn't even... Yeah, I would say steer clear from this. You heard what happened to Senora? And also, like, you're fighting Archons. Like, I mean, in this scenario... Understandable. <laughs> but, yeah, certain ones, probably don't want to mess with. Like, probably don't want to mess with the one who rules over in that land. Of course. That is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. I'm assuming Harbingers get assigned each Gnosis, and maybe they have to, like... They're assigned to go get a certain one. I feel bad for whoever... Is going on that one. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Hmm. So she doesn't know the old one? Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> It looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. Oh. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure uh -oh. we will work together. Someday. Someday in around 4.5, 4.6. Duvalet? He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. No, well, they always leave. Can never have so many people on the screen at once. Also, I realize they always call her the knife. 
I was waiting for like Arlequina to show up. <laughs> no, nothing. Nevelette, is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I'm concerned that sooner or later the prophesized events will occur. Mm. Thank you for protecting Farina. Maybe we ask what happened down there? To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. My power. So what happened on our side? Hmm. So as expected, the knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Can I ask you some questions? Permission granted. Menti says he's the weakest Arcana at this point, but uh, it could be Farina now. <laughs> or Farina at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. It very well could be, though. You have enough power to force back the Barmonial Sea. Uh, does this mean you have this, this some deeper connection with the Hydra Archon? But yeah, and Venti could be putting on a bluff. He could be like, hey, you know, I'm the weakest of the seven, just to kind of throw us off. Whoa. It can't be that you're the real Hydra Archon, right? But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> you can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. And that means yes. If we can talk about something else, we won't try to force you. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. What do you sense in the fortress of Merapi? Did you manage to protect those needed to be defended? I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? Oh, I wonder why. A clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds. The rain became heavier. A light rain soon going to a downpour. And just before moments, I had mentioned his sense of grief. Thinking back to that legend, what from minute said, it said that the dragon of water once was at in Fontaine. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Wait, Nouvellet, you can't be. You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh, and what are you thinking? He's the dragon sovereign of water. Dragon of... Uh, huh? Please do not be so surprised. That'd be so cool if he'd like chains forms. Oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Farina? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her hair wet. My apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dragon sovereign of water, right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny... <sighs> you guessed correctly. Ew. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. We did it. Uh, right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it a secret. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Please, go ahead. Well... If you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to force back the Primordial Sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? None of the currently living Dragon Sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full Dragonhood. <laughs> I haven't reached full Dragonhood. Hmm. They say that when the first Usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. So in the first... Uh, Earthsphere... They seized a part of the dragon's power. Oh yeah, I remember that, actually. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching dragon sovereigns. The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. 
As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. Hmm. I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Ah, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? No. Paimon is a little worried. Sure. We'll see you another time. Take care. Hmm. So seven dragons and seven archons. Now guess, what suit will this next card be? Uh, a <laughs> bear teeth cat? Well, well, look who it is. A bear teeth cat. Traveler, Paimon. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremen, eh? Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clarand in person. Oh. Oh, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. Well, I guess he does have, like, a little oxygen tank. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the Opera House, and we met the Knave. You met Father? Did she say anything to you? Nope. She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. <laughs> So surprising. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh boy. You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable and also trustworthy. Work. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh, got it. That's an order. Huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Hey! Why do you call it father? Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it, yeah! Excellent. I will host a tea party. No, no more tea. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake! Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Hmm. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. Nice. Lewis. We should start preparing that tea party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm all for it. I'll help you set it up. Apologus. Got another tea party coming up. Reminds me she said that you're... Oh. <laughs> that reminds me. She also said you guys are a bunch of losers. Forgot to mention that one. Uh, there we go. No, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Seedwing! Traveler! Paimon, you're back! Are you still doing Traitor all right? Bean. Did either of you get hurt? <laughs> Don't worry, we're both doing great. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess, how bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Don't really look like a molesing. Oh, of course. We must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervulet know that he was needed here? I mean, she does, but she doesn't. Well, Monsieur Nervulet has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves produced. It would have been cool to like play it as like an actual molesing, like the ones with the different colors and whatnot. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. 
I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. But this is good enough. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Just let me know no. if you get a craving for any particular dish, so I can have Mr. Get me and out get of here. Prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. Your happy smiles are quite contagious, you know. They're so memorable, and I've missed them immensely while you were gone. Run! If you can find the time, please stay at the fortress for just a while longer. Go. Oh. Oh, uh, we'll make another playable model, so we're just gonna make Sigmund look different than all the others. <laughs> yeah, that's the unfortunate truth. Can't catch me. That is the unfortunate truth. They really love they like they love to reuse assets. Make yeah. My escape. yeah, let's get a female. You you guys are back? Crystal, you guys didn't Not get really. caught and thrown back down here, right? Hmm. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape oh, from jail and all never. the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? They honestly could do it, too. They could just, like, take an NPC and change, the, change it up a little bit. Because they have the buff NPC, but not the buff character. Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried hmm. about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, something like that, yeah. No. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? Mumbling to the carrots? Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. Mm. Hey, Not there's so much. nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. I'm sure that both Emil's will must have skyrocketed in quality recently. Emil's will bring all the prisoners to the capital. Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. That's fair. Hey, why don't we have a meal with those two one of these days? You want to cook for them yourself? Why not? Good chance to show them what I can do. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Uh oh, are we going into the office? It's like we are. Oh, roll right in. <laughs> Whoops. Make my escape. Oh. Oh. Ha. Oh, okay. Well, if we're going to go down here, let's turn off. Well, I saw what it looked like now, but just so we don't get blind again. <laughs> oh, it's just you two. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a really cool shot. It's the boat. The big boat. Jurier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Oh, we're gonna get the, re the, the real reveal. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. They actually are a couple. Uh, that's no excuse for you. Huh? Oh. What's you two? Jurier, Lurveen, we're back! Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? We're fine. And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret though, so don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. <laughs> oh yeah? Oof. Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? Not at all! True. We all knew. 
Chariot, the rumors about us are literally everywhere now. Please do something about it. But it's not like I caused them by myself. All right, all right. I'll try to do something about it when I can find the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Silence. You've been bad. So, so silly. And now we talk to Rizlay. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? <laughs> Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? We're fine, for the most part. Nervalette came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not gonna work. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. Yeah. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left his... Were the gifts oh, milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Cloran received lipstick instead. Oh. New Lack got the milkshake. Okay. Oh, I got lipstick. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. <laughs> well, it's Nervilette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. <laughs> the hash isn't in the infirmary. Goes to the... Oh, goes to the ship. I see. Why not get chlorine in the milk? Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from oh, Sijuin too? Is it a too? bomb? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, <laughs> so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. Oh, nice. They actually have a home, for once. For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? Is the food still covered? You may access the cafeteria for free. Wow, no tickets. So how do I buy those recipes then? Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. That means it's been about, what, 40 days? Your file can't be closed until we've completed your paperwork. So don't forget to come find me again when you're done serving your sentence. You got it. You got it. The end. We're back in our cell again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Feels like we've regained freedom. Mm hmm Being free sure feels pretty special now. <laughs> Who? Hi, man. Is something like they'd like to say? Huh? How did you know? Because you usually just immediately fall asleep. Hey, that's not true! <sighs> All right. Okay, Paimon just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. Yeah. It's like, we've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. There are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? One of the best adventures ever. You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? True. I mean, honestly, yeah, actually, yeah, it should be. At least he would talk. Ah, I just got thoughts making Paimon giddy. Ah, oh, Paimon, the new Paimon's MC. Gonna crash, so you sleep soon too. Well, I guess always the MC. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside our cell. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. So in the final overture teaser, Risley is, he prefers tea, uh, than Sigwing's drink, not blind. Okay. <laughs> no, I, after that one scene with that light, I think he might be blind. <laughs> no. We should be safe now, right? I was blind. We'll be fine, so don't worry. All right then, good night to you, traveler. 
Good night to you, Paimon. Look at the, the fairy things are still popping up. Oh, one more. It's not over yet. Oh, he's, he's dead. The whale. Oh, the ship? Wait. Oh. Was it a whale? Hmm. That was interesting. Well, I don't really know how I feel about that arc quest so far. <laughs> I feel I have to see Act Five to really get like the full verdict. But yeah, hmm. I mean, I liked you know Arlequino with Farina and Nuvolet. And I think the first part of Act Three, I like I really enjoyed. The rest of it, not so much. Act Four was a little bit of continuation of Act Three, and then obviously things escalated towards the end. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like we spent a lot of time in the prison, and I, you know, like I said, it makes sense. But. When you're gonna, you know, put the characters in a certain scenario, you gotta at least try and be creative in that scenario. Um, yeah, too long in the prison. Like I understand why, but yeah, we spent a lot of time in the prison. It's almost like we spent two acts within one area. Like uh, you know, the first two acts is the opera epic class and doing cases one after another. And then Act 3 and 4 is all the prison. Pretty much. So. Yeah. I don't know how I'm feeling about this one so far. Free to play perspective. Child. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, Nuvolet's profile. Let's check Nuvolet's. Oh, Constellation. Oh, nope. Can check Nuvolet's profile for the last. So, oh yeah, you're right, because yeah, it was question mark, question mark, question mark. Ancient Dragon's Authority, Hydro, Constellation, Leviathan, Judicator. Hmm. Overall, it's only Act 4. Still have one more act to go. I assume the prophecy will take place in Act 5. I assume uh, things will really go haywire in Act 5. I assume we'll get the answer to... New Let's Questions and the whole like drowning, everyone drowning scenario. And I imagine it might be kind of short, but I do think they could have did a, a much better job with the build up. Um, and it could have been like a little bit more. There, there were some comedic parts within this Archon Quest, the, the last two. But I feel like it could have been a little more better of a build up. Maybe like add some other stuff in there, like things that don't have to really do with the quest that were like comedic or something. But eh, you know, I, I don't know. I'll I'll see how it finishes out before I give the full verdict. But so far, eh, I think I am maybe liking honestly the trials more so far, like the first and second one. The cutscenes were cool though. Order, 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 order